Are you horrified at the, the thought that, that, that this could be the end of the an analog clock? You know what? I am. And not because I love clocks or anything like that. I mean, you wouldn't, you'd wouldn't. do well to tell the time on the countdown clock because it's got one arm and it only goes up to 30 seconds. Um, but it's just basic maths, isn't it? I mean, kids, are, they're taught to read clocks as, as a skill from the age of about five and six from the national curriculum of, of math. So to think that age... 14, 15, 16, kids can't use clocks. I mean, fair enough, if you want to give them an advantage in an exam, great. But I think the bigger issue is the numeracy levels. But if technology moves on and all clocks are, are eventually going to be digital, or most of them, apart from a fancy timepiece that you might get for your birthday, is there much point? Well, it's not about the clock for me. It's it's about, you know, looking at, you know, it teaches you quarters, it teaches you halves, it teaches you fractions. It's about... Um, using a you know a non numerical way of displaying information and being able to work out what that information is telling you and it is something that you learn from when you're five or six but and saying oh we don't need it and let's just scrap it because it's too hard I mean that's just not the attitude we're in a, 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 a an era where all the jobs are going towards technology you need coders you need scientists you need engineers we're trying to get more people doing STEM subjects so to just say oh the clock's redundant because you can look at it. I mean, that's that's terrible, surely. Uh, well, it's not my fault. I mean, I, 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 feel, I feel as though you're blaming me. I'm not blaming you, but I was, I was shocked. I've only read it out. I was shocked.